Welcome to St. John Youth's on this, the 30th Sunday in Ordinary Time. Our presider today is a visiting priest uh, named Father Francis. Please stand and join us in singing our opening song, Sing a New Song. Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Good morning. Good morning, morning, Father. Today is the Mission Sunday. It's our obligation, all of us, the baptized, to make God known. Let us confess our sins and ask God to pardon us. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly thought in my thoughts and my words, what I have done and what I have failed to do through my fault, through my fault, through my most thought. They are prayers to the Virgin, or in your saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters. May the Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us life everlasting. Take away the sin. 
to God in the highest and on earth peace to people of goodwill. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest and on earth peace to people of Almighty, ever-living God, increase our faith, hope, and charity, and make us love what you command, so that we may merit what you promise. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unit of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of Sirach. The Lord is a God of justice who knows no favorites. Though not unduly partial toward the weak, yet he hears the cry of the oppressed. The Lord is not deaf to the wail of the orphan, nor to the widow whom she pours out her complaint. The one who serves God willingly is heard. His petition reaches the heavens. The prayer of the lowly pierces the clouds. It does not trust till it reaches the goal, its goals. Nor will it withdraw till the Most High responds, judges justly and affirms the right, and the Lord will not delay. The word of the Lord.
A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to Timothy. Beloved, I am already being poured out like a libation, and the time of my departure is at hand. I have competed well. I have finished the race. I have kept the faith. From now on, the crown of righteousness awaits me, which the Lord, the just judge, will award to me on that day, and not only to me, but to all who have longed for his appearance. At my first defense, no one appeared on my behalf, but everyone deserted me. May it not be held against them. But the Lord stood by me and gave me strength, so that through me the proclamation might be completed and all the Gentiles might hear it. And I was rescued from the lion's mouth. The Lord will rescue me from every evil threat and will bring me safe to his heavenly kingdom. To him be glory forever and ever. Amen. The word of the Lord. from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus addressed this parable to those who were convinced of their own righteousness and despised everyone else. Two people went up to the temple area to pray. One was a Pharisee, and the other was a tax collector. The Pharisee took up his position and spoke this prayer to himself. O oh God, I thank you that I'm not like the rest of humanity, greedy, dishonest, adulterous, or even like this tax collector. I fast twice a week, and I pay tithe on my all income. But the tax collector stood off at a distance, and would not even raise his eyes to heaven, but beat his breast and prayed. O oh God, be merciful to me, a sinner. I tell you, the latter went home justified, 
not the former. For whoever exalts himself will be humbled, and the one who humbles himself will be exalted. The Gospel of the Lord. My name is Father Francis. I come from Uganda, and Uganda is in Africa. I'm here for a month, and then I go back home. I'm happy to be here with you. And today, it's Mission Sunday. Mission Sunday. This day reminds us that it's our obligation as Christians to make God known. That everybody should know God and do what God wants. Mission is Sunday. The world needs God. When we hear what is going on in the world, really, we need to know God. There are a lot of wars, killings everywhere, injustices, exploitation, discrimination, mention it. We can ask ourselves, is really God happy of what is going on in the world? Is God happy? We know God. God is so merciful. God is so forgiving. God is so loving. But what is going on in the world? Does it portray what God is? Sometimes not. God may not be happy of what is going on. That's why it's our duty, all of us, to make God known, to preach the gospel, so that people may be transformed and become good. We always say, God is good all the time. And all the time, God is good. We should be good all the time. But what is going on? We are not good. We are not good. So it's our duty to change the world. It's your duty to change the world, to become good, to become good. Today, there is a war in Ukraine and in Russia. But they tell us there are over 6,000 priests and religious stayed in Ukraine. These priests and the religious, they are now catering for the people. They are providing food to the people. They provide the shelter to the people. They are healing the wounded. They administer sacraments in Ukraine. And they are telling us, even some seminaries have turned into dormitories for the people to sleep. The churches, those which were not destroyed, 
they are now dormitories for the people to sleep in. Now the bishops, the priests, and the religious are now giving out food. And they tell us, there are some people in Ukraine who are being baptized for the first time. Some are receiving Holy Communion for the first time. Some are getting confessions for the first time because of the war. Let us support the mission. Wherever you are, you can support the mission. You support the spread of the gospel. That we should be good. And they told of us, let us be good. When you are good, you change the environment. Each one of us, we would like to be surrounded by good people. You want good neighbors. When your neighbor is good, you feel secured when your neighbor is good. Let us be good. Today, many people are not good at all. But if we preach the gospel, if we make God known, then people are being transformed. Today in the gospel, these two people, one was a Pharisee, another one a tax collector. The tax collectors, they were known to be public sinners because these people could leave heavy taxes, heavy burdens to people. They were exploiting the people. So they were public sinners. Nobody could like them. But according to the gospel, despite all the faults of this tax collector, he needed God's mercy. Each one of us, we need the mercy of God. You need God's mercy. Even the tax collector needed God's mercy. So he came to God. And the Pharisee, sometimes there are some people who despise others. There are some people who point at others. There are some people who are judgmental, like the Pharisee. We need the prayer of this tax collector. This tax collector knew himself that he was a sinner. That's why when he came before God, his prayer was, have mercy on me, Lord, I'm a sinner. Have mercy on me. That's a healing prayer. Healing prayer. We need healing prayers. Sign of humility. Have mercy on me, a sinner. He humbled himself, really. He humbled himself. And God says, this man who humbled himself went away justified, went away forgiven, went away blessed. That's what we need when we come to church. When we come from us, we want to go back blessed. We want to go back forgiven. We want to go back justified, like this tax collector. Who knew himself that he was a sinner? He humbled himself before God. And he went away blessed. But the Pharisee not. Because the Pharisee's prayer was too judgmental. He stood before the Lord saying, 
Lord, I'm not like them. I'm not greedy like them. I'm not dishonest like them. Even I'm not like a tax collector. His prayer was judgmental. Sometimes we come to God, but when we are too judgmental, we are judging others. We are judging others. Sometimes we are pointing at others. This Pharisee was pointing at others. Not pointing to himself, but pointing at others. Despising others. He was not blessed. He was not blessed. Let us always look at ourselves. We know ourselves. Sometimes we don't know ourselves. This tax collector, a public sinner, knew himself. That's why before God, he humbled himself. And God justified him. God forgave him. We pray that we may have, we may embrace this prayer. Lord, have mercy on me, a sinner. Lord, have mercy on me, a sinner. Let us humble ourselves always. And let us be on the mission to make God known. Let us be good because God is good all the time. Let us rise up. I believe in one God. To God, from to God. On this World Mission Sunday, we remember Jesus' call to go into the whole world and proclaim the gospel. We ask God's blessing that through our self-giving and speaking about our faith, the good news of Jesus may be proclaimed to all nations and peoples. For the Holy Father, Pope Francis, first missionary of the church, and for all missionaries and martyrs who gave their lives to tell the glory of the Lord, that they may be loving, wise, and holy witnesses of Christ our Savior, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the leaders of nations, that they may be committed to justice for all peoples, and dedicated to building a world of peace. We pray. We pray for the perseverance in prayer rather than give up when we do not see results. We pray. For an increase in our own missionary spirit that we may be fervent in our faith 
and in experiencing the power of God's love that we cannot help but proclaim and share what we have seen and heard with the entire world, we pray. For those who live in spiritual loneliness, especially as we recover from the pandemic, that they may reunite their sufferings with the crucified Christ for the redemption of the world, we pray. We pray for all those in our parish community who are unwell at this time, including Lori Schultz and Bishop Alex Aklan. We remember those who have died whose fate is known to God alone, that they may come to eternal rest, including Manuel Cruz, Lope Vic Gonzalez, Flor de Lisa Peña, Vanessa Padilla Arellano. We pray. For the intentions of this Mass, for the repose of the souls of Jerry Ochoa, Sarah Barrett, and Ed Tinsley, for the special intention of Salvador Rosario. We pray. For our own needs and intentions that we now recall in the silence of our hearts. We pray. God our Father, you bless us with a gift of faith. Increase our faith and give us courage to speak about it and share it to the ends of the earth. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Please join us in our song for the presentation of the gifts, Refiner's Fire.
Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God Almighty Father. For the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and good of all the Holy Church. Look, we pray, O Lord, on the offerings we make to your majesty, that whatever is done by us in your service may be directed above all to your glory through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Yes. It's right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you so loved the world that in your mercy you sent us the Redeemer to live like us in all things but sin, so that you might love in us what you loved in your Son, by whose obedience we have been restored to those gifts of yours, that by sinning we are the lost in disobedience. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as in exhortation we acclaim. Of holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like a dewfall so that they become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to the disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chariots and once more giving thanks. He gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the charity of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in the memory of me. the midst of our faith.
They are for us to celebrate the memory of his death and resurrection who offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you made us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. And we pray that partaking of the blood and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spirit of the world, and bring out the fullness of charity together with the Francis, our Pope, Jose, our Archbishop, and all the clergy. Remember also, brothers and sisters, who have, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Joseph, our spouse, and with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who are put out the ages, we may may to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unit of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. The Savior's command formed by the divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And may us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Grant us a grand peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as you await for the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, we say to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grace us a grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes out the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Thank you. 
join us in our communion song, Miracle of Grace.
we take a moment of silence as we meditate upon our Lord we've received. He's a good Lord, so forgiving, so loving, so merciful. Let us pray. Still in this sacrifice of mercy, we want to pray for the family of Rachel and Palado Mariquez, that the Almighty God may bless this family and even their intentions. May your sacraments, O oh Lord, we pray, perfect in us what lies within them that what we now celebrate in science, we may one day possess in the truth through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us get seated for some announcements. Today, as World Mission is Sunday, we have a second collection for the missions. Today's, today's World Mission is Sunday. We celebrate this day remembering our baptismal call to bring the gospel to all. The collection today for the society for the propagation of the faith, support the work and witness of the mission church as it provides for priests, religious, and lay leaders who offer the Lord's mercy to the vulnerable communities in the purpose missions. Trunk or treat? Are you ready for the trunk or treat? Join us next Saturday, October 29, when children come in costumes, enjoy games, corn maze, trunk or treating, food, and much more. Fest fest Activities begin with the harvest mass at 5 p.m. Pastor's dinner. The men's council is once again holding its annual pastor's dinner. This will be our first year to honor Father Ethan and Father Dave. It will be held on Wednesday, October 26 at 6, 6 30 p.m. at the Olive Garden. The dinner is open to all men of the parish. Sitting is limited, so please call the parish office for more details or purchase tickets.
region of Mary. The region of Mary will hold a Columban drive after the 9 a.m. and 11 a.m. mass on Sunday, October 23rd, and it's today at the Church Plaza. We welcome anyone interested in joining. An officer will be available to explain the highlights of our work. AV Ministry. The AV Ministry is soliciting volunteers. Please come join our ministry and help us celebrate by projecting missile content and the music at masses. See the projectionist after mass for more details. Any other announcement? If no other announcement, let us rise and get the blessing. I thank you so much for coming to this sacrifice of mass. So let us go back and do the mission, make God known everywhere, people to become good and do God's work. The Sorry, I wasn't fast enough. There is one additional announcement. There's a correction in the bulletin board. You're all cordially invited to our annual candlelight also the Mass of Remembrance. It's Wednesday, November 2nd, All Souls Day at 6.30. In the bulletin, it was said Tuesday. That was my mistake. It's Wednesday, November 2nd at 6.30. We invite all of you, especially those who have lost loved ones, to come to this special Mass. Thank you. Thank you, Father. Thank you. The Lord be with you. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, the mass is ended. Have a blessed Sunday. You too, Father. And please join us in our closing song, Our God Reigns. <laughs>